Looks fine. Looks like a little dull dish platter. I think uh wash it off a little bit there. I'm making it worse. There we go. Cool. It's all in one piece. I'll keep it. Well, there's my shovel down in the hole, and I'm not at the bottom of the uh, place yet. Still seem to be going down. Still pulling stuff out of the bottom, so. That's like a four foot shovel. I'm standing up here. That's the bank up here, in front of my face. That's pretty good uh, depth so far. As long as I, it doesn't cave in on me, I'm all right. All right, let's get back at her. Hey, check this out. Looks like some sort of porcelain medallion or something. I don't think it's real old, but just canned it down around the bottom. This bottle here has got some water in it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Doesn't look like there's any markings on the back. No, I wouldn't say so. Anyways, that's neat. Right on. Catch you later. Here we go, folks. I was wondering when I was going to find one of these down here in this hole. Another poison bottle with a skull and crossbones. Liquid iodine. Right on. First time I found one down in this area. Cool. There's another brown one right there. Ha! It's another one. Right on. I'm finding these things in pairs this year. Two of them. Sweet. Yeah, right. I'm going to keep digging away here. Catch us on the next one. Okay, folks, I got a bottle showing down in the hole here. I'm going to see if I can get it out before it all caves in on me. I'm down pretty deep, so anyways, here it is right here. Oh, frig. Top's busted off. So slick anyways. It's crappy. Well, better luck next time. Hey folks, me again. I just pulled this little panel side wild root bottle. I don't have one of those. I'm trying to get it focused here, but anyways, it's embossed on both that both edges. Wild root. There we go. It's a small one. Put right the palm of my hand. Okay, onward. So folks, digging for about one hour and a half now. I just popped this one out down the bottom of the hole. I wiped it off. I don't see a seam on it, which is odd, because it looks like a crown top. Mosquitoes. But on the bottom, it's embossed Walker's grape juice first time I found one of these so that might be a pretty good find yes sir well I was gonna keep plugging away and see what else we can pull out of here hello folks back with another wrap-up I don't know think I'll go over this stuff up top here but just have a look there this thing here I don't know it looks like it's homemade Nineteen thirty-six. There's a Buckley's cough syrup. Nineteen thirties. You can see the uh, thread pattern there. It's basically, just one thread. 
Milk of Magnesia, nice little bottle, 1940s. Cognac Monet, with a salamander on it. I thought it was a dragon, but it's actually a salamander. Nice embossed bottle. Up around the thread area here, it's registered 1932. See if I can pick it up on this camera. Right around there. Anyways, so that's probably uh, late 30s, 40s. That's probably fair to say. Peacock Chemical Company, St. Louis, USA. That one there I got dated uh, late 30s, 40s. Wild Root Hair Tonic. It's got some uh, leaves embossed up the edges there as well. It didn't clean up very well. I probably won't be keeping it. That's uh, possibly 1838, late 30s anyways, 40s. These here were the my favorite finds, of course. Liquid iodine poison bottles. Those were made from 1925 to 1940. So these ones are, I'm guessing, are probably from the 30s, these particular ones. Cleaned up good. This here is the oldest find. It's a Walker's Grape Juice. You can see it's got that uh, purple tint to it. Start to change color. And uh, it's awful filmy inside of it. Couldn't get it out. That's uh, normal for a lot of these bottles. You dig up in the dumps. And uh, the date on this one is uh, they were made between 1890s and the 1910s. So it's uh, that's an oldie. Kind of neat I guess. Well so that's everything. And I just want to thank you for watching and Say uh, good luck, happy hunting on your outings, and everybody have a good day.